Hi guys, we're going to look at a circuit training session today. The PE department are looking at different ways that we can keep you active in the lockdown. So today I'm going to do a circuit training session. We have got eight exercises that we're going to do. We're going to do them for a minute and then we are going to have 30 seconds rest. My rest may be a bit longer because obviously I'll be explaining each exercise as we go round. Now for this session, you're going to need a drink. So I've got my glass of water in the other room. And we're going to need some sort of weights, but I'll explain that to you in a little while. You'll want either a phone or if you've got a stopwatch or even your egg timer that your parents might use in the kitchen. That'd be a great way to be able to keep an eye on your time. So first exercise we're going to look at today is step up. So that's why I'm at the stairs. Stairs is the easiest way for us to do it. If you haven't got stairs, you live in a bungalow. If you've got a step maybe outside the back, you can use that as well. Or if you've got something that you can jump onto that isn't too high, we can use that as well. So for step ups, we've got an easy and a hard version. So our easy version would be just to walk. So walking up like this and back down, that would be our easiest way to do it. If you want the challenge, then we'll be stepping up like this and we'll be having a bit of a run at it. So I've got my phone ready for the minute. And I'm starting it and off we go. So I'm keeping it a nice gradual pace. Obviously, if you want to challenge yourself and go fast, that's fine. If you think you can potentially do two steps at a time, then by all means do that. But it's up to you and obviously make sure you're being safe at all times. Okay, so when we're doing our step ups, we are working on our quads so you may feel a little bit of a burn as we're going through okay we're also looking at the hamstring as well as we're doing this which is at the back of our quad nearly there 20 seconds to go Okay, minute done. So moving round. So we're going this way. <coughs> okay, so our next exercise we're gonna do is a wall sit. So I'm just gonna take a quick glug of water. And get my breath back at the same time. Whew, okay, so wall sit. You need a wall, I'm gonna use this. <coughs> You may see my cat wandering in and out. That's fine. So, whoo, hang on a minute. Just getting my breath back. So, wall sit. For the wall sit, we need to make sure that our back is nicely pressed against the wall, okay? And we need to make sure that our feet are just slightly in front of our knee, okay? If we go too far down like this, not the right position. And if we come too far up, as you can see right now, no benefit at all, okay? So, let me just get my timer. A quick more drink of the water. Okay, so I'm just getting my timer ready for a minute. So, sit myself down. Now, we might feel a burn in our legs. That's absolutely fine. Normally, you also might feel a bit of your legs shaking, that's also fine, nothing to worry about, just keep going, okay? On this, we are working on our legs again, so we're looking at our quads, we're looking at our hamstrings, and we're also looking down the back, and also on our glutes, hello. So this is the normal way of doing it. If you want the challenge, the challenge is to then put your leg out, okay? That's the harder version. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm going to keep here, okay? If you feel you can't hold it for a minute, then by all means, come up, have a quick break, and then go back down again, okay? Try and keep yourself as still as possible, which is the main thing, and try and keep your back completely straight. Okay, timer. Wall sit done. So next thing we're going to move on to is reverse lunge. So... In school, when we've looked at lunges, we always look at going forward. Today, we're gonna to do the reverse of it. So we're gonna be moving backwards instead of forwards. Now, again, this is focusing on our quad here. 
Okay, so remember, keep them hydrated, keep the water going. So like I said, we're only trying to have a 30 second rest in between. Mine are a little bit longer because I'm discussing with you what you're doing each time. So this time then, so we're looking at reverse lunges and off we go. So you're gonna stand, but you're gonna go backwards, keeping our back nice and straight as we go. Back, keeping it nice and straight as we go. So if you see, I'm alternating each leg. So one, back, back. So my back is nice and straight as I'm going down. I'm not going too quickly. I'm doing one or the other. Now, if you want the challenge on this, you need to get a couple of weights or as I've got here, tins, etc., and just hold them down as we're going, okay? So you want one each side. That would be a bit more of a challenge. We'll give you a bit more resistance, okay, as we're doing it. If you've got weights at home, even better. If your parents have got weights at home that you can use, even better. But if not, a can of beans, jar, something like that would be absolutely fine. So now you've done this now. Minute done. So next thing we're moving on to is a hammer curl. Now, in school, we'll have looked at bicep curls. This is a sort of the same. Instead of us going up this way, we're going to be going across our body. So we'll be going more into the middle and crossing over, okay? Like so. So, depending on what we're doing, we potentially, like I said, I've got a can, I've got a jar, or I've got a bottle of squash. If you've got weights, even better, but obviously we have to make do. So, we're going across here, and we're going up this way. So we're keeping it nice and still, and going up this way, okay? So, get me a minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do 30 seconds, this way, and then I'm going to switch over. So hopefully we should feel it in our bicep, okay? Along here, it's where we should be feeling it. We may, if you feel that this is too easy, you might want to find something a bit heavier to use. That's absolutely fine, okay? So after 30 seconds, we're then going to switch over. So the same again on your left hand side or your right hand side, depending on which one you started with. We're going up and down, okay? Nearly there. You might feel a little bit now as you're getting to the last bit, especially if it's your weaker hand. Okay, but we're nearly done. Nearly there. Think of the time. Last five seconds. Now to vary this for the challenge, so I've forgotten about that, will just depend on your weight. So the heavier your weight is, the more you're gonna get out of it, basically. So I've started with something quite light, potentially you'd want to go to something a bit heavier for that challenge. So, next exercise is jumping jacks. We all know about jumping jacks, we've done loads in school. So that's the next thing we're gonna look at. Now, obviously we've got our bog standard where we're just going up and down like this, that's our bog standard. However, the challenge, if you wanna try this, is to squat down into this position and then we're going to do an explosive up, then back down, up, down, up, down, okay? I'm going to do the easier one, but there's your challenge. So, get ourselves ready to go. Okay, so, normal jumping jacks. But like I said, if you want to do the explosive one, give it a go. So, get on. Let me know. So, we're just doing this for a minute. With jumping jacks, we're using quite a lot of muscles here. We're looking at our core here as we're going up. We're also looking at our biceps and triceps. We're also looking at our glute, which is our muscle in our bum. And then we're also looking at our leg muscles or our quads, our hamstrings, and all the way down to our calves. So this is quite a more body movement. Five seconds left. OK, 
Okay, jumping jacks done. So, moving on, we're looking at triceps next. Now again, it's gonna completely vary on what weight you want. Obviously, for the challenge, heavier weight. Um, this time, you're gonna need something to balance off. Now, I'm using our dining room chair. Um, you could probably do it on a sofa if you wanted to, but I find a chair is easier. So I'm going to use my little mayonnaise again. So what you're going to do with this one is you're going to do your opposite leg to the hand we're working on. So if I was doing my left hand side first, I'd have my right knee up and obviously vice versa. So if I was doing my right arm, which I'm going to do first, then my left knee will be up. So how this one works, I'm going to do it to the side so you can see it a little bit clearer. So, left knees up, right arm. And this motion, we're going to say we're lifting it back this way. So hopefully everybody can see that we're lifting it into more of a right angle, okay? Our elbows going up and we should feel it all down here in our triceps. So, getting one minute ready. So I'm going to do 30 seconds on one side. So I'm pulling it right back behind me, okay? So we're doing it, 30 seconds one side, and then we're gonna do 30 seconds the other side, okay? So we might start feeling a burn as we're pushing up. So I've got my hand here to support me, okay? Nearly at 30 seconds. And then we're gonna swap over, so exactly the same, Different knee forwards, and then I'm doing the same other side. So I'm pulling it right back. Hopefully, you should start to feel a bit of pressure or a stretch as we're going through the tricep, which is all good. Last second. Done, okay, so that's a different way for us to look at working out our triceps. Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do leg raises. Now, in PE, if you've done a circuit training session, which I know the majority of you have, we've looked at leg raises before. So just to remind ourselves, we're gonna be on the floor, okay? Now there's loads of different ways you can do this, but I'm gonna give you two. So the first way we're gonna do it is two feet. So I'm going to lay down, have my hands by my sides, lift my legs up, and then they're going to come down just before they hit the floor, okay? Now, if you want to make it harder, you can do one leg. But if you look, I'm keeping my feet up all the time. So that's the other way to do it, okay? So they're your two versions. Completely depends which one you prefer, okay? So I'm going to get my minute ready. Okay, so we're going up. And then we're going down, up, down. If you need to rest during this, that's fine. You can always put your feet on the floor for a second and then go back up again. Obviously, with this exercise, we are really looking at our abs and our core. So you should really feel it as you're going up and down. I know I am. Okay. Try and keep a good position the whole time you're doing it. Nearly there, I think. <laughs> okay, so I'm just finished just shy of the buzzer. Okay, our last exercise we're going to do, which we've been doing really well. Oh, it's still going. We're doing really well with. Right now, with our last exercise, is we're going to look at side to side punches so again this one we're really looking at our arms we're really looking at our biceps and triceps okay now there's two ways to do this you can either do it without any weights okay so we're just looking at our arms or we can use 
a couple of weights like your beans or your mayo or your squash or whatever you've got around the house to use as a weight, as a resistance, okay? Now, you can either do it standing still, just do your punches for a minute, or we can look at shuffling side to side, doing some punches, just so it gives you a little bit more to do in the time save to stand in there. So I'm gonna move side to side with this. So I'm just getting my timer ready. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm gonna shuffle over to the other side and then do the same thing. So I'm shuffling as I go. Like I said, looking at the triceps and the biceps as we're going, okay. Also, I haven't got a lot of room here, so I'm doing really small little side steps. Obviously, if you've got a bigger area, then you can go a little bit further, which is always good. Okay, so really trying to look at keeping their arms up nice and high. I'm not the best puncher, as you can see, but I'm giving it a good go. Okay, keep going. Nearly there. I know I'm starting to get a bit tired now, but we're nearly there. And that's the buzzer. Now, you can do this more than once through. You could look at potentially having a longer time on doing each exercise and then a shorter amount of time on the rest. It's up to you. Um, but give it a good go. Well done, guys. See you soon.